Starting uh, to the top right of Frost in uh, the first map of our best of three, we have the Star Tail Zerg player. It is Star Tail Curious. Curious in this matchup, a little bit more shaky than he was in Wings of Liberty. He has uh, seven map wins and 15 losses that leaves him with a 31% win ratio. His worst matchup in Heart of the Swamp. Starting to the bottom right of the map, we have a Protoss versus Zerg, a specialist, the CJ Andus Protoss player. CJ Antus Sora. And Sora in this matchup is simply crazy. Numbers really don't do the kid justice. He has a 75% win ratio, 20 maps played, he won 15 of them. But the more important thing is that in the last six best of threes that he played against Zerg, he did not drop a single map. He now won 14 maps in a row against Zerg. He beat JKS, Shine, Curious and Solki at the WCG qualifier for South Korea. And in the WCS qualifier for the Challenger League, he took down Juni with a 2-0. And then in the finals of his bracket, he defeated Czech with a 2-0 as well. So Curious definitely in a very tough spot against such an accomplished opponent in this matchup. Yeah, he really is up against a mountain here. He's got a mountain to climb, as they say. Luckily for him, we're not spawned uh, horizontally, we're spawned vertically, because as we saw yesterday on this particular map, if you take that fast there is a Protoss and you engage on that bridge repeatedly, it's very difficult for a Zerg to attack. If he goes around rather than going on that bridge, it takes so much longer, so it gives a Protoss a lot of time. So this is really good for Curious at the start, at least he doesn't have to deal with that. We have apparently, it looks like a double hatch opening before pool, so Curious, this is I actually love this, uh, for the reasons that we mentioned already earlier. Curious finds himself in a situation where he is up against a very tough opponent, and he himself has of course a lot of experience, and that is the small edge that he has over Sora, especially here of course in Heart of the Swamp. And he goes now for a double hatch before pool build, and actually gambles a lot here, even gets the gas before he goes into the pool. And on a big map like Frost, you can get away with something like this. Sora is opening here with a gateway instead of a forge opening, which is uh, these days not that common anymore. More people are tending to go into gateway first now. But this gives Curious a massive <clears throat> edge in the, uh, in the early game, of course, in yeah. the mid-game, if he can carry this out. And Sora doesn't even scout, so this is exactly what Curious needs here, I feel. Exactly, you know, and I'm sure Curious has studied this play, asked a lot of people how he's been playing this matchup, looked at any VODs he could find, and he's found that a lot of the time he does not scout on some of these maps, especially four-player maps. If you remember Wings of Liberty, where we had double hatch before pool as well, it was actually kind of incredible to see that a few Zerg players counted parting because they knew that on certain maps like Daybreak, he only sent a probe to the first Stalnaga Watchtower. They knew exactly that he did not scout the Zerg's main base, that he just tried to stick with his own build order. And Zerg started to abuse that a lot, and that's what we see here as well. Ooh, but look Sora at this. with an attempted snipe on the Overlord, and he might it's be gonna able be to get it. Close. Ah. Another ship core going to continue to get vision here. Yeah, and the Overlord will go. The Overlord's down. definitely going to go down. Five more shots here, it looks like. Well, no, even less. One more will do it, and that's it. This is it. And the Overlord already gone. And not the best start here for the scouting with uh, the Overlords for Curious, of course. But luckily for him, at least, uh, you know, he does get that plus one from the other hatchery <laughs> when it comes to supply. And uh, actually, he's not missing a whole lot of production here. He got his Queens. And he did get his early speed up, so that's what he was investing all of his minerals into. So, yes, this is an annoyance for Curious, but it could, you know, it could have been worse. He could have been scouted early on with his third base. Yeah, it could have been a forge expand, you know. And actually, like the scouting path for Sora is working in Curious' favor. Sora decided to go clockwise here, and that means he will scout Curious at the last position possible that he uh, is sending units over to. So right now we have Curious already with speed halfway done. He uh, has with the speed then an opportunity to work against the gateway units of his opponent. Yeah. And I think his third three bases should be very much secure, especially with him now actually sacrificing Lava for Zerglings. He should not be surprised by any kind of shenanigans. Exactly. He's going to have a lot of Lings out here to work with, and obviously this is not going to be a commitment as he's droning up behind this, and he knows with the wall there, he should be fine against... Uh, er, er, Sora that it should be fine yeah. against Ling Aggression, but he has so much production here. You see how he can explode just having that fast third hatchery. He will get that Stalker. Yes, There's no way for the yeah. Stalker to escape. Speed is done, and the Stalker therefore fair game. Very well done here, Curious taking, losing an Overlord, killing a Stalker, a trade that he is probably pretty happy with. And you know, Cutter, he still doesn't know about the third base, how fast it was. His Mothership Core went all the way around the other side, so did his Stalker. So he scouted wrong, unluckily for him. And now he's going to get his very first glimpse of that hatchery, and he's not going to be happy about it. Yeah, not at all. Oh my god, he might as well lose a few of the sentries here. Not quite, not just yet. 
Sentries moving out for a second, but that was really scary. If you lose the sentries early on in the game, then you find yourself really in a predicament. So now once again, Lings are trying to move in. Yeah, and actually there's no sentries here. He has to turn around. And this buys Grizz more and more time to get that Roach Warren up. And this aggression that we're probably going to see followed up with this Roach Warren is just going to poke at the front and make sure that Sora can't take a four, uh, third base, which he's trying to do yeah. now, but it's definitely not going to work against this many links coming out. It shouldn't. Out. Like, if Curious really finds out that there is an attempt to get the third base early on, he should just go down on third. That's exactly what he does. He moves in with the Zergling, sees it now, doesn't turn around just yet. He wants to go for the sentries here, and he's starting to attack them immediately. The energy is already going down on most of the sentries. A couple of force fields are still remaining, on the other hand, and Curious builds more units. Zerglings and Roaches on the way. He wants to take down this third base yeah. of his opponent. In my opinion, this is a Brilliant choice because he knows how many sentries there are exactly. He's already seen them. He wants to bait out four fields here and keep the sentries away from that nexus so that when his next wave of units come in, he can't use the four fields against those units. And he might have taken yeah. a few of the sentries with him even. And he has a second force of Zerklings that can always just try to backstab those uh, uh, sentries, come in from behind and do damage. Here come the road, just now going for the cannon. The rest of the Zerklings already on the way, trying to just bring in the flank. And there we go. There we go. The Zerklings not able to get any surface area on the other hand. Brilliant force fields by Sora, even with the weakened energy. Mothership Core drops that overcharge. So many Zerglings still, though. Yeah, maybe <clears throat> here has waited a little bit too long here. We'll find out. Roaches are still streaming in, but with the Nexus already done, the Photon Overcharge is definitely helping him out a lot. And Sora, with a great job of keeping his sentries alive, he lost the view. But the Nexus is another issue. Can he save that? It doesn't really look it like it. It does not look like it, especially the two Roaches coming from the left side. The Nexus does fall. And with the rest of the Zerglings coming in here, actually, some of these sentries may fall as well. He's got the Roaches to target if he wants to. The Roach is moving in, but he's already retreating. Curious is still behind in Harvesters, on the other hand. He's currently looking at 45 against 54. Can, of course, at any point just simply drone up. He has the Lava available. Goes into additional Roaches right now. He's lacking that attack upgrade that Sora already has. But the Protoss player is now still on two bases against three. This is an unfortunate timing to remake that Nexus. He will probably have to cancel this, but it's going to cost Curious a lot to do that. And just delays the Nexus a little bit, cost him 100 minerals. But I actually like Sora's position a lot here. Curious did add those drones, like you said. He's getting Roach speed, but we have plus two. Blink, the Dark Shrine coming up here. All of these techs really going to put a damper on Curious taking a fourth base. Yeah, Sora definitely making some really good moves here. He wants to have this third, though. Without the third, he's in trouble, but the Zerglings actually break through one of the force fields. And a couple of those, they are really out of energy. He needs to get more sentries with energy in here for force fields if he really wants to win this battle. But he goes for the recall instead since he realized that he cannot possibly take down all of these roaches. Yeah, I think that might have even been a mistake for him to wait that long. I think he might have been like, barely not enough energy, so he had to wait a second there. But just walking away would have saved him a lot more sentries. Um, as it is, Curious is supply blocked, but he's still got that worker count up. And he is getting the tech out. Six overlords at a time being made right now, so he's not going to be supply blocked anytime soon. And he gets the plus one attack upgrade. It's nearly completed now. That will put him on the same upgrade count as Sora. Roger still streaming across the map. And Curious is now aware that there is a third base that is going to be completed in just a few seconds for Sora once again. So he has the choice of either just going into tech, doing damage, or maybe even taking another base himself and uh, laying low for now. Yeah, there is one Immortal out. No additional Immortals being produced right now. He's hiding these DTs here, as you can see. He puts one intentionally on hold position. And it looks like he may go on Queen Assassination. Dude, he's already been spotted, though. That's actually incredible. While he's attacking here, he does spot the DTs. He's chasing them, even. And these are going to do very likely uh, minimal damage, if any. Although he does miss it at first, now he will get yeah, them. Here we go. <clears throat> very, very nice move that we had here. And another DT, even already being attacked, might be, be able to take down the Queen. But that should be about it. So really good moves here by Curious. I'm actually very surprised that he saw those DTs right away. He must have spotted them immediately when they entered the creep. So really good moves by Curious. He's currently 30 supply up and trying, of course, to get his additional attack now. Only relying on Roaches in the long run is probably not going to cut it for him here. Yeah, he definitely is going to have to... I mean, unless he can do critical damage with this force that's coming across right now, I'll switch things up pretty soon here. Roach Burrow movement on the way for him. Plus one not done in time for this attack. There aren't very many Immortals. I think there's still just the one. Curious really wants to go for a massive amount of Roaches. Burrow and, of course, the Roach movement speed that you already pointed out. The Burrow movement is going into coming into play. And that's only one Immortal so far. And that's what he's trying to use here. But he can't dodge those force fields just yet. The upgrades are not done. He has to move back once again. And he's lost a fair chunk of his army. Yeah, I think Blink is done. So he can actually go for Blink on the chase if he wants to here with the Roaches in retreat. Decides to play it safe on the other hand. Nice Blink back there. 
keeping his third base alive, well fortified, and he's still up in the harvest account. Curious did not do a whole lot with this, and I'm starting to worry for him a little bit here. Curious wanted to go for a massive amount of units and just barrel down his opponent and win the numbers game, but it's not really going to work for him because Sora just was the entire time so meticulous about his pro count. He has a really good income. The third base securing it was such a massive move for him, but he is still behind in army supply. But now we have Sora blinking in, doing the damage. Curious is trying to go through the wall at the natural and doing damage to the natural and the main base, maybe. But can he really achieve that? It looks like he might be able to just split his units perfectly. It looks like it's time for a recall, you know? Does he have enough energy? I think he would if he... Okay, there he goes. Recalls into the main base. So a lot of damage here at the natural. He might even lose that Nexus, losing a lot of probes. The one DT helping out a lot. Actually, a few more warp in, so he has four there now. Burrow movement quite handy, on the other hand. Yeah, Burrow movement helping him, but there is an Observer. The Observer already helped to take down the Roaches in the main base, and now he's moving down to the natural, trying to take down all of the Roaches as fast he can another round of attack is going down on that third base and the nexus is not looking good not looking good at all i do not believe he will save this one and he knows it as well sends a lot of his probes away blinks on top of the roaches the roaches will not escape with the observer being there but curious has spent a lot on this and he doesn't have a lot of steam left a counter attack could be devastating it looks like that's exactly what he's going for already walking across the map here yeah on the other hand if curious is able to actually withstand this pressure right now and force the sora back he's in a great position but he needs to defend against this and as you already said this is a pretty strong army here for the cj enders players he has currently dts in that mix he has a lot of sentries we have the plus two attack upgrade for him and the army supply is in favor of Kira, but, but just by such a small margin. And here we go, moving in right into the Conqueror. The force fields are good, and Curious retreats, buying himself a little bit more time. Yeah, buying a little bit more time, but there are so many Stalkers with Blink and plus two. Even with the Immortals at back, he's going to have some trouble dealing with those. Compositionally, Curious needs to make sure he uses his Burrow movement, because that's all he's really got on his side here. BT's already gone, the sentries are next. Those two Immortals in the back doing a massive amount of damage to all of the Roaches. Curious is moving in with additional reinforcements right now. The Inject are not popping just yet. He needs more lava at this point. He's still up in supply. At least Nami supply is second ago, but it is Sora's time to shine right now. Those immortals taking roaches apart, nearly one-shotting them. Yeah, Curious really having the better economy until this moment with the Nexus being gone, but now he no longer has that advantage. The third Nexus is nearly recomplete. In fact, it just finished as I said that. He just doesn't have enough power here. GG. GG and game. Sora running with his advantage in tech.